Hello and welcome back everybody. I'm your host, Dr. Bob Lee from 107.5 WBLS, your number one source for R&B. We're here joined once again by Olympic gold medalist, winning boxer, five-time Golden Glove champ, Mark Breland in the house. Two-time welterweight champ too, right? Yep. And you just catch him on the chin. You were the chin checker. Well, I tried to, I, yeah, I tried to check him off, off, <laughs> as much as I could. Yeah. You know what? We were talking about your foundation a little while ago right. before Bobby C. came on, and uh, we didn't give every, anybody information on how to get in touch with on, you. On our Facebook, on yeah. the Facebook page. Mark Wheeling, Mark Facebook Wheeling, Facebook.com? Yes. Bam, just like that, and we're going to get all that. Say it again, shout it out. The Mark Breland Foundation. Foundation. The Mark Breland Foundation on Facebook.com. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to show people how to keep in shape, and uh, if they're just starting out, what should they do first? Uh, well, jump rope, learn how to, well, learn, I, yeah. I'm still learning. I'm how learning. did you, no, you didn't, you didn't still learn. But when you first started uh, getting involved, you said double dutch was no, the thing? No, I learned how to jump, turn, well, the girls, I started turning double dutch, I, I learned how to jump over <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's guys. a lot of guys that still do that, you know. And it's something to that. You, you wait your turn you wait your in turn. life. But now the, the hard part about double dutch is turning. <laughs> um, That's how girls started out fighting, right? <laughs> you got a point there. <laughs> so you're okay. going to start up with the jump rope? Jump and jumping okay. rope. So you jump rope. And then they got all kind of tricks. You, yeah. You stay on your toes. Stay and on your toes. You want to stay yeah. on your toes. And see, jumping rope is like one of the best exercise for cardio for the whole body for the whole body because you got to move your whole body and you're constantly moving and when you're first you know, starting out you can jump for like about 30 seconds I mean, if, maybe even if you can't <laughs> jump this way you know just jump regular because yeah. you're still using your whole body yeah did, did you ever try to do tricks with it and move you know you yeah. can't spread your legs too far because a rope would get no, caught no you want to keep your you want to use your wrist mainly yeah. use your wrist and you know you should squat down yeah. And crisscross the rope and all that stuff. And mess around a little bit, right? Yeah. Let's see. I can do it. I can do it without the rope, right? Yeah, it's easy without the rope. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try it with the rope. Let me see. All right, turn your TV off for a second. <laughs> 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 so you just mess around like this. There you go. There you go. You can do no. shuffle. There you go. Then you gotta, you gotta cross it. <laughs> mess around like that. I don't know. I haven't done that in about a hundred years, but now I'm breathing hard. Exactly. That's what. That, I mean, that's what the rope does. I mean, yeah, it helps yeah. with a lot of cardio. And then, you know, with shadow boxing, you know, I tell people, you know, when you shadow boxing, you want to turn your, you know, when you, when you punch, turn your punches over. You know, and I mean, it's not, it's not as, it's not as easy as it looks because when you're throwing a lot of punches, yeah. say you put like three pound weights in your in your hands, and just doing this here, you feel them in a few minutes. Yeah. And then, you know, you just throw different punches, throw different punches, you know, and just, it keeps your shoulders strong and keep your mind together. Yeah, how about the heavy, uh, the heavy bag? Well, hitting the heavy bag, you know, gives you more power in your shoulders. Boom. And, you know, just a little, little twist in the waist. Yeah. Because all your power comes See, from See, golfers there. do that too, that yeah. little twist in the hip and the waist. See, people think they could just throw their arms. I could throw my arms, but yeah. the golf... I mean, I've been twisting in golf for a long time. <laughs> but I've been digging the hole. <laughs> digging a lot of holes. Sand guy comes and puts the patch back in there. Fixes no, the whole it. truck comes. <laughs> the <laughs> dump truck. <laughs> but well, it's important because sometimes you're just throwing your arms and you're not hurting the guy. Right. I mean, you can if you, you know, you know what you right. do. But you want to throw your body up right, in you it too. You want to throw your whole body, turn your whole body into a punch. You yeah. know, when I throw my right hand, when I throw a right hand, I throw the whole, everything, my leg, my toes, everything. And if I miss, I'm going to land on top of you, so you can't hit me no way. <laughs> well, most of your knockouts by right hand or left hook? Right hand. Right hand. prepared with the jab. Yeah. You set them up. I set them up with the jab. Yeah, yeah. Um, to where, you know, I hit them with jab, jab, jab. So many jabs, it's like, I know it's coming. When is it coming? <laughs> the attitude, I know it's coming. When is it coming? So. And, and then you can time get, somebody. You keep throwing that jab. Now they want to try to move over a little bit. Right. All right, I'm going to throw that right hand right there where they're going to move. Bam! See, but, my thing, see, but my thing, I'm jabbing you, I'm jabbing you, and, and so if a guy got his hands up here, I'm yeah. going to do things. To, all I want to see is this part of his chin. Right, so right. I might do this here, and, so when, and then you got a half a second to get in. Right, right, right. Just get it in. 
buckles, call it a night. knees and everything leave your body. Ah! <laughs> but I mean, but you know, like I said, just staying in shape and do, doing different sit-ups. You know, I do all kind of different sit-ups. Yeah. Um, jumping rope, shadow boxing, hitting the speed. But that like, core is important too because oh yeah, it, definitely. it's in, it's in charge of moving that whole you know, thing. I mean, a lot of people think sit-ups are easy and you know, it's like, oh, I got a good stomach, but I do certain sit-ups and they were like, wait a minute, this is a diff this is different. I'm like, yeah, it just catches now you gotta use parts. your whole now you gotta use your whole stomach to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so they, you know, people do regular crunches and sit ups. I mean that's good, okay, but now I do these here it's like it's yeah. totally different. So what el what else did you do different in training to give you the edge on your opponent? Um because, you know, everybody I, does a jump rope and the sit-ups and the push-ups and hit the heavy bag and the speed bag well, and well, shadow I got box. a lot of rest. A lot you of know, rest. When I was training, I did, you know, I got a lot of rest when I was training. But, you know, one thing, when I was in, when I was in training camp, you know, like, I, like, you know, what I was saying earlier about the mind and the body. Yeah. You know, I would train hard, but every place where I trained at, everywhere I would go train, training, I would find a comedy club. Yeah. And I would just and go laugh. laugh. Yeah, I would just go laugh all the time. Yeah, because people get nervous. I met, I met a lot fight. of com I met a lot of comedians. Yeah, because I was I was always at com comedy clubs. Right, right. You know, I mean, it's good to keep in mind. You know, just because a lot of fights are won before you even step in before the ring. Before you step in the ring, exactly. You know, a lot of people are like. I mean, I could, you know, it's like staring staring at a guy in the middle of the ring. You know, you can tell if 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 a guy is standing there, and he does this here. And they just look at each other. Flies can go through. You're not gonna blink. But if you go there and you do this, thing, <laughs> you, I, it's like you got I'm, you, my man. I got you. Yeah, it's yeah, right. yeah. But um, you know, it's just different things psychological. Yeah. Just psychological is there a tricks. fight in your mind that you can remember where you felt most comfortable? You said, "I got this," and all of a sudden, you know, you were able to take him out when you were. All right, I got. I'm, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna lay him out in the sixth round. Or I'm gonna lay him out in the fourth round. Because it's going my way. He's fighting my um, pace. Well, this guy I fought named Daryl Anthony, he's the only one that ever beat me in the amateurs. And I fought him my fourth pro fight. I think I stopped him in the third round. And I was, I really wanted to get him back yeah. for beating me. And um, I knew I had him. I just set him up and caught him with him the right hand. Caught him up, set him, caught him up. And I uh, caught up with him in the third round and got him out. What was the most devastating knockout? Because sometimes people fall on their face, boom, 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 and they just lay. <laughs> um, sometimes their legs just go. Well, I think I, I think when guys fall, I, I just seen a fight recently, Paul Williams, when a guy falls, and his eyes are still open, and when he hit the canvas, his eyes don't even close. He's just sitting there with his eyes he's open. He's gone. He got to go that's, to the hospital. That's an ugly knockout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an ugly one. Yeah, come in and get him right away. <laughs> I mean, you know, like I tell people, I said, you know. You know, if you're a fighter, most fighters, you know, who are guys who knock out a lot of guys, and, you know, and if you look back, it's like, hmm, they get caught too after a while. Yeah, yeah. You know, Aaron Davis, you know, he caught me. I, that was a hell of a fight, tough fight. Marlon Stalin, tough fight. I mean, I hit him with everything in the book, but he kept coming. And, you know, and if, you know, you look at these guys after the fight and look at me, I'm like, yeah. They're like, I won, but no, I didn't win. Yeah, so, but Aaron Davis kept coming for a different kept reasons. Coming, he yeah. found out later on. <laughs> so give us some, he's from the Bronx? Yo, he, he, he got dusted a little bit, though. <laughs> so give us some, uh, some foot movement and stuff before we, uh, we break well, it. Well, just moving break. around, just dancing, just yeah. stepping, just keep stepping. And, you know, you don't want to get hit. You don't want to be in the, in the range of fire. Yeah. But I think keep your, keep your left shoulder towards him. Uh, and you got to keep sliding, right? Keep sliding, keep getting out the way. Stay on your toes. Because the object, the thing is, I want to hit you more than you hit me. Right, right. There you go. The champions in the house, Mark Breland. Mark, thanks so much for coming oh, by. Thanks for having me. Uh, give us that blog. The Mark Breland Foundation on Facebook.com. Mark Breland Foundation on Facebook.com. Mark, catch me on the chin right here. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> she had a knees, just leave your body. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. It was really a pleasure having you right here on uh, today's show. Bam! Bam! All right, we're going to uh, get some more information on uh, how you can get involved with Mark Breland's foundation. But uh, please visit the Mark Breland Foundation blogspot.com. Mark Breland Foundation blogspot.com. 
we got to take a full, a final break. But uh, on the other side of the break, we'll come back with a serious knockout.